Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this video and in the next couple of videos, we will learn about the different binary codes. So first, let us understand what is binary code. So this binary code is a way of representing number, letters or characters using the group of ones and zeros. Now there are different ways this number or letters can be encoded in the group of ones and zeros. So over the years, different binary codes have been evolved. But we will see some of the important binary codes which are commonly used nowadays. So mainly, the binary codes are classified into the two categories. That is a numeric binary codes and the alphanumeric binary codes. So the binary codes which are used to represent the numeric information or the numbers in the sequence of ones and zeros are called the numeric codes. While the alphanumeric codes represents the alphanumeric information like the letters, numbers and the characters. So this ASCII is one of the popular alphanumeric code. And it is primarily used for transmitting the data between the computers and the IO devices such as the printer and the keyboard. Now if we talk about the numeric codes, then there are various types of numeric codes like a BCD8421 code, a grey code and the access 3 code. So in the next couple of videos, we will learn about all these binary codes in detail. But first, let us briefly talk about this BCD code. So this BCD stands for binary decoded decimal. And in BCD code, each decimal digit is encoded into the group of 4 binary digits. Now there are various types of BCD codes like uh, 8421, 2421, 5421 etc. But the most common one is the 8421 BCD code. So in this 8421 BCD code, this is how each decimal digit is encoded. Well, how each digit is encoded and what is the meaning of this 8421 will get clear to you very shortly. But this 8421 is the weighted code. So in general, these numeric codes can be classified as either a weighted code or the non-weighted code. So this BCD 8421, 2421 and the 5421 are the few examples of the weighted code. So the weighted codes are the one which obeys the positional weighting principle. Meaning that in this weighted codes, each position in the number has some specific weight. For example, in this 8421 BCD code, starting from the MSB, the weight of each bit is 8, 4, 2 and the 1 respectively. And the summation of all these weights represents the equivalent decimal number. For example, if we take the BCD code 0111, then there is a 1 in the position of this 4, 2 and the 1. That means all these 1s will get multiplied by the corresponding weights. And if we add all these weights, then that is the decimal equivalent number which is represented by this particular code. Similarly, if we take the code 1001, then there is a 1 in the position of this 8 and the 1. So if we do the summation of all these weights, then it is equal to 9. And that is the decimal equivalent number which is represented by this particular code. So basically, this 8, 4, 2 and the 1 represents the weight of each position. And this is how these 0 to 9 are represented in this 8, 4, 2, 1 code. So similarly, this 5, 4, 2, 1 is another weighted code where this 5, 4, 2 and 1 represents the weight of each position. So for example, if we take the code 1, 0, 0, 1, then in the position of 5 and 1, there is a 1. So if we add the weights of each digit, then it is equal to 6. That means this is how the decimal number 6 is represented in this 5421 code. And this is how all the digits starting from 0 to 9 are represented in this 5421 code. Now if you see this 8421 or this 5421 code, then here all the weights are positive. That means these weighted codes are the positive weighted codes. Similarly, there are some codes where the weights of some position is negative. So such codes are known as the negative weighted codes. So this 84 minus 2 minus 1 is the example of the negative weighted code. So this is how this decimal digit 0 to 9 are represented in this particular code. So if you see the code of 0 1 1 1 then in the position of this 4, minus 2 and the minus 1, there is a 1. So if we add all these weights, then their summation is equal to 1. 
that means this code represents the decimal number 1. Similarly, if we see the code 1010, then there is a 1 in the position of this 8 and the minus 2. So if we do the summation, then the summation is equal to 6. That means this is how this decimal digit 6 is represented in this particular code. So this 84 minus 2 minus 1 is one of the negative weighted codes. So in short, these numeric binary codes could be a weighted code or the non-weighted code. And further, this weighted code could be a positive weighted code or the negative weighted code. And these are the few examples of the weighted code. Now those codes who does not obey the position weighting principle are called the non-weighted codes. And this access 3 and the gray code are the example of this non-weighted code. Then there are some binary codes which are the sequential code. So in this sequential code, if you see any binary code, then it is one binary number greater than the previous code. That means in this sequential code, whenever we add one to this particular code, then we will get the next code. And the same is applicable to all other codes. That means this 8421 is one of the sequential code. Similarly, this access 3 code is also example of the sequential code. So if we just add binary number 3 to this BCD code, then we will get the equivalent access 3 code. And if you see this access 3 code, then it is also sequential code. Because in this code also, just by adding a 1 to the particular code, we will get the next code. That means this 8421 BCD code and the access 3 code are the example of this sequential codes. Then there are some binary codes which are the cyclic codes. So in a cyclic code, a successive code differs from each other by only one bit position. For example, if you see this gray code, then the successive code differs by only one bit position. For example, if you take this decimal number 3 and 4, then they are differing by one bit position over here. Likewise, if you see the code of number 9 and 10, then they are also differing by one bit over here. So this gray code is the example of the cyclic code. Then the next type of binary code is the self-complementing code. So first of all, let us understand what is this self-complementing code. So if we consider the decimal digits, then for any decimal digit n, its ninth complement is equal to 9 minus n, right? So for example, for the decimal number 1, its ninth complement is equal to 8. Likewise, for the decimal number 6, its ninth complement is equal to 3. So in this self-complementing code, if we have a code for some decimal digit n, then in that code, just by replacing the 1s by zeros and the zeros by 1, we will get the equivalent ninth complement of that particular number. So this access 3 code is the example of the self-complementing code. So we know that the ninth complement of the number 0 is equal to 9. So if you see over here, then just by replacing the zeros by 1 and the 1s by zeros, we will get the code of 9. Likewise, the ninth complement of the decimal digit 3 is equal to 6. So in the code of 3, if we just replace the 1s by zeros and the zeros by 1, then we will get the equivalent code for the decimal digit 6. So this access 3 is the example of this self-complementing code. Then this 84 minus 2 minus 1 is another example of this self-complementing code. And these are the few examples of this self-complementing code. Now if we talk about the classification of this binary codes, then some binary codes have the capability of error detection as well as the correction. So let's take the example of this 8421 BCD code. Now whenever this code is used in the digital communication, then during the transmission and the processing, it is susceptible to the external noise. So because of the noise, it is quite possible that the zero in the code can get replaced by one and likewise, the one can get replaced by the zero. And if such thing happens, then the error will occur during the detection. For example, while transmitting this code 0100, if due to the noise, this last zero gets replaced to the one, then at the receiver, it will be received as 5 and hence the error will occur during the reception of this particular code. So to detect such error, these error detecting codes are used. So just by adding the parity bit along with this usual code, 
it is possible to detect the error. Similarly, there are some binary codes which can even correct the error. So this parity and the Hamming codes are the example of this error detecting and the error correcting codes respectively. And here is the complete classification of the binary codes. So in the upcoming video, we will go through some of these binary codes in detail. But I hope in this video, you understood the different types of binary codes. So if you have any question or suggestion, then do let me know here in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.